a matching turquoise overcoat and trousers. This is the new uniform for street cleaners in Jordan's capital, chosen by the public in an online poll. All 5,000 cleaners have been told to ditch their orange attire. The colour is now too closely associated with the Islamic State group. We agreed our uniforms should change because they remind people of the Islamic State group, the terrorists. IS group propaganda videos often show hostages dressed in orange jumpsuits, including Jordanian pilot Moat al kasasbe who was executed last month. The municipality decided to respond to calls from the family of the martyr Muat al kasasbe and citizens from across the whole country to change their uniforms. Orange dresses have also fallen out of favour in Iraq's northern Kurdish region. At this textile store, one woman shrieks away from what she now sees as the colour of brutality. My heart won't let me wear orange. They put this colour on the people they are holding in captivity. So all of us hate this colour now. To mark the Kurdish New Year, many women wore brightly coloured dresses custom made for the occasion. According to a local vendor, orange was given the snub this year. It's hit business hard here. But, in general, people don't like it, because for them, orange now means blood. The orange jumpsuit has its roots elsewhere, with prisoners at the US-run Guantanamo Bay Detention Center. According to US State Department officials, the Islamic State Group's choice of color is no coincidence.